it's not about looking at another um, you know like a postcard veduta yeah but it's more of a where you stand it's a perspective from where you stand so in that in that way I um, I followed my curiosity for materials and also for getting to know what is off that land at the time I did hunt and gather terraria when I was coming back to Manila and trying to understand a bigger thing, you know, like from a small thing that's reflecting a bigger thing. And at that time, it was the urban plants and how it kind of mirrored how we are relating psychogeographically with our land. The next body of work I did was Tierra Salvaje, which kind of got even more zoomed in to what makes a landscape. So I said, so after the plants, zoomed in further is the soil. So I made dirt drawings on top of photographs, so also to introduce photography to, to freeze things that are, seems to be collaged and I put it up, so it's kind of fixed by photography. So I like to work on landscape and as well, and at, at the same time also put forward the, the medium, which is photography. Um, mostly, because I also do installation and I really enjoy uh, having the work talk to each other and also presenting a visual language. It's not just one narrative, but um, uh, it's like um, an orchestra. You enter the gallery and you see two photos. And there's a loose narrative there as if the viewer enters as if they're a ship or they're on a boat, they're entering, they're seeing something in the horizon, they see the island, that's the first image they see. And then further on, we see this block of stone sitting precariously uh, perched on, a, on soil looking over the sea. Mm -hmm. You know, and then there's the mystery that's uh, presented itself there, you know, like the opening scene with that uh, 2001 Space Odyssey. So it's like this monolith, it's a, it's a signal mm -hmm. that there's a switch in the brain that says, okay, there's something there, now let's be curious. Perseus is the first one you encounter. It's a very classic portrait of a, of a young marble worker there. That was in that in the workplace, everything in situ. So the whole thesis of the work of here is like the fact and fiction of this uh, of this project, and he's embodied it in his face and his the way he looks at me at the camera and uh, the way he's holding the marble. It's more of a circular radial um, arrangement. So. There, the columns present itself something very familiar, meaning we, we know columns from the Greek tradition, Gecko Roma and all that. And then you encounter the confabulation and then all these uh, the abstractions made by the geometrics of the work. And then as you see this, uh, the big figure, he's the one who's, you know, commanding the space, basically. Almost demanding for you to look see marble you know and it's empty you can write on it if you want you know but it could also be your tombstone you know it's like this kind of uh, duplicity duality and doubleness again tabula rasa is for people who wants to uh, like you know start from scratch yeah but it also could be a headstone or to memorialize something that already was past and needs to be remembered Conversations that are not just about, let's say, when you're looking at a new place. You're not just there as a tourist. You're, you're there to be transformed mm -hmm. by that place. So you're looking at things in a new way. You kind of follow the clues. Like, why are they eating like that? Why is there buknoy? Why is there, you know, like, uh, where's this dust coming from? And then you realize, okay, they, because they came from the workshop, and the workshop came from these trucks, and these trucks came from the mountain, the mountain came from the sea. So it could really go like that, in, in, that, in that direction. What do you think you're going to do next? Next? 
pack my bags somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it never ends. It never ends. And um, my relationship with Romron is not gonna end here. So there's gonna be more of that. But it's always, I don't know, it's something I don't know. And it's good, it's good. There's a big blur, it's like I'm covered with this, you know, marble dust.